Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today the third and final part of the series Hathor Friend of Many Lifetimes. Part three is entitled Alice's Perilous Tales. A spiritual group meets a somewhat larger Hathor delegation. One life is lost in selfless service to the all. To continue the saga of the Hathor delegation's visit during the year 2012 or the following year. The next setback was far more grave. Still, the Hathors would play and joke and lovingly speak with me for some while after. I thought, not such a good thought as it turned out, to take them to another place where a spiritual meditation was to be held. On that occasion, the national leader of the group was to be visiting there and to lead the meditation. Well, I thought, what an opportunity for a very spiritual person such as he to meet these joyful beings of light from our planet Venus. So the Hathors and I went to the meditation. The meditation group was sitting in a big circle and I found myself sitting roughly opposite the visiting national leader. When we got there and sat down, first the leader of my Hathor delegation swooped joyfully, gently, and I felt filled with elegant grace and wisdom out of my heart chakra. The meditation leader, perceiving his entry into the room, sent a burst of hatred from his heart, and that hatred destroyed my friend's earthly form, ending his life in a flash. I was filled with shock, disbelief even, but held my heart chakra open in hopes for the future of our beloved planet. More slowly, more gravely and gently, the nine remaining members of my Hathor delegation emerged from my heart chakra and stood in a solemn line before me, facing the leader of the meditation group. Behind them, more and more Hathors emerged until the room was full of these wise and gentle beings who lit the faces and hearts of the people with the beautiful light of their hearts and filled their souls with the star knowledge so long withheld from Earth's beings. Then I heard the meditation leader speak to the people in the room. He said, and I paraphrase, You may not know it, but we have about 120 visitors today. After he spoke those words, one by one, these gentle beings of light turned from the people in the room and swooped back into my heart. They never appeared to me in this way again. Through the joyful heart chakra acrobatics, or more soberly, on the occasion of the great loss of one of their members, through the hate-filled, attacking thought of a respected earth spiritual leader, Yet they and their gentle wisdom are always available to me and to each of you as well if we but take the time to call upon these, our beloved celestial ascension teams. After my good friend the Hathor lost his life, I asked my team how to hold the grief I felt at his passing. They said, that everything was all right, that he, through his selfless service to the all, had merely gone on to a higher dimension. They said that I would be able to see him and talk to him a little later on. I believe them, as I do to this day, although the moment of our reunion still awaits me. Well, dear ones, that is the end of the series, Hathor Friend of Many Lifetimes. 
God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.